So now in this video, we want to apply a voltage across a load, even as the power supply voltage goes above it significantly. So we already looked at we can set a voltage with a Zener diode. Problem was, when the load demanded too much, it didn't always hold that voltage very good. So we can improve that with the NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower, which we have right here. And uh, so this will set the uh, voltage across the load and this resistor that helps it set the voltage, but it'll be uh, 0.6 volts less than uh, what we set there. So we can actually raise the Zener voltage. So this one, this uh, diode here is uh, optional, but uh, it will add, since it's forward biased, about 0.6 volts, the same voltage that you lose there. So it adds the voltage there, it drops it back down, ultimately you end up with the Zener uh, diode voltage right there pretty steadily, even as the power supply goes up. So let's get to building this circuit. So now, the component that ties everything together is the NPN bipolar junction transistor. So this is a 2N3904, part number's on there, but it's uh, hard to read, but in any case, we have the uh, emitter, left pin, base is the uh, middle pin, and then collector is the top pin. That's the pin layout for this particular transistor. So if we turn it uh, this way, now the emitter is at the bottom, collector on top, base in the middle. So we're going to come over to where these jumpers are. We're going to uh, connect the collector directly to the positive rail, where that uh, yellow jumper is, and the uh, emitter we're going to connect to this orange jumper right here. That goes to the other side of the board, just to kind of reduce clutter. Now we're going to set the voltage to the base. We're not going to use the uh, rectifier diode yet. So we're going to take a uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor. Exact value is not uh, terribly important. You want to make sure that enough current passes through to uh, help the uh, Zener diode hold its voltage, uh, but you don't need to waste current either. So we got that there. Now, the Zener diode, that is to the base, from the positive rail to the base. The uh, Zener diode here, again, we're going to skip the uh, rectifier diode right now. You use it reverse bias. So this is a 5.6 volt Zener diode, and it won't conduct until you got about 5.6 volts across it right there. So the uh, cathode goes towards the more positive side to work as the Zener diode, and uh, the anode we're putting directly to ground to get that 5.6 volt uh, buildup right there. So now that brings us to the emitter which is the uh, bottom pin now of the uh, transistor and we have this jumper over here to uh, give us more space, reduce clutter and we're gonna grab a 10 kilo ohm resistor so I wrote an actual value on there because 10 kilo ohms works uh, pretty good in this circuit prob probably all the time so 10,000 ohm resistor we got to make sure that goes to the negative rail to ground right there. And what that does is, uh, especially when you have like uh, LEDs and stuff that drop a certain voltage, it kind of messes up the circuit a little bit at times. This uh, keeps a uh, resistance across there and helps it regulate the voltage a little better. So you may get away without using it, may work exactly the same, and the uh, circuit may not work right without it. So it's a good idea to just always add it. So now we're ready to uh, take voltage measurement. So I just turned the uh, supply on. We have seven volts at the uh, rail. Let's turn the uh, meter on. So we can take a look at that really quick. The uh, rail voltage and uh, that yellow jumper goes directly to the positive rail. And you can see we got seven volts. If I come to uh, where the resistor is, I can either connect to the resistor or this jumper, you can see that we have 5 volts. That's uh, what we wanted in this circuit for whatever reason. And uh, so this is a 220 ohm resistor and uh, it's pretty good for protecting an LED against 5 volts. So now we added the uh, load and there should still be 5 volts across it right there. And now we're going to raise the uh, supply voltage and uh, let's go right to 12 volts. So we're using 5 volts more than we were before. Let's come back here and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit and uh, we can take a look at that first. About 12 volts at the rail and uh, again we're still holding 5 volts across the LED, also across 
this resistor here. So even as the voltage changed of the uh, power supply, the voltage across the load, the voltage we set, held really steadily. And it's doing a lot better job than if we just used the Zener diode alone. So now, I'm going to turn the power off. You can see the LED turned off there. And we're going to do a couple of things. First, let's get the uh, 220 ohm resistor out of the way so we don't forget. And grab a 470 ohm resistor. So we got about twice the resistance because we're going to go from uh, 5 volts across here to 9 volts. And uh, 470 works pretty good protecting against 9 volts. So this is a 5.6 volt Zener diode. I'm going to grab the 9.1 volt Zener diode. They do write the uh, voltage on there, but it's really small. You need a loop. And uh, so hopefully your packaging has the uh, voltage written on it when you take it out. So in any case, now we have the 9.1 volt, that's what it's rated for, Zener diode. I'm going to turn the uh, power supply on. And uh, so we're going to say we want 9 volts. 9.1, of course, would be uh, perfectly fine. That's just slightly more. But there you can see we lost that diode drop right there. So we got 8.44. So just in case uh, for some reason you couldn't see it, uh, we got 8.44. So we can stack uh, diode drops uh, really easily. So we will uh, pull this one out. I'm not sure exactly where the uh, rectifier diode will land. So we got a forward bias this. Put it in the direction that it conducts easily, but again, it still takes about 0.6 volts for it to conduct, and then that is dropped from the circuit. You uh, lose it. So we're going to the base, the middle pin with that one. Now, that's forward bias. We're going to reverse bias the uh, Zener diode as normal, and we will uh, pull back. So first, we can look at the voltage across these two components right there coming to the uh, rectifier down and now you can see it's uh, 9.7 whereas the voltage across the Zener is just 9.1 now we'll come over to our load and there we go we got 9 volts we were able to uh, stack those together and of course we can change the supply voltage so it's 12 volts now I'm thinking maybe 15 is about the limit of uh, where we should stop. So that's the current through the LED plus other components. So we're, we're probably uh, still probably still safe there. And uh, as you go up in voltage, heat goes up. So the uh, voltage went up a little bit on there. We could probably use uh, more than one kilo ohm resistor uh, for the uh, drops there. So there's slight modifications you can make. But for the most part, it held pretty steadily right there. And uh, so we should probably keep like 12 volts or less. But in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. We just put together uh, a circuitry that uh, we looked at earlier in more simplified terms. So that's all more complex circuits are. A bunch of simple circuits added together. So I will see you in the next video.